In this morning's Health Watch, the best diets. Jenny Craig is number one in the latest Consumer Reports rankings just released this morning, but that doesn't necessarily make it the best plan for you. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here along with Nancy Metcalf, who's Senior Program Editor for Consumer Reports. Good to have both of you with us. Good morning. This is so hard for so many people to figure out if they want to use a plan to help them get things under control, which one would be best. Uh, so we, as we mentioned, Consumer Reports looked at the top diet plans here in the U.S. Jenny Craig came out on top. Walk us through though uh, the rankings here and how you came to that. We based them on published clinical studies of the diets um, and we crunched the numbers on how much weight people lost in the short term six months and then long term a year, how many people stayed on the diet and then we also analyzed the nutritional content of the diet and gauge how well it matches with federal guidelines and we crunch all those numbers together to get a big rating. Okay so you get the big rating. So Jenny Craig as we mentioned came out on yes. top number one. Um, what, what made it far and away number one? Uh, some new studies came out last year of Jenny Craig, uh, which ha had great results. After a year, the average participant had taken off 8% of their weight, which doesn't sound like a lot, but actually is uh, kind of a home run yeah. for a big diet study. And they kept it off. Uh, they kept it off for a year, yeah. And, and that was key. Weight Watchers, I'm sorry, Slim Fast came in number two. That that seemed a little surprising to me. This, I would think, would be more of a quick fix, not a long-term fix. Well, it kind of is. Uh, they get very good results for, at, at the six months level, but what you see after a year is people just drop out because I think maybe they get tired of eating the same stuff all mm -hmm. the time. And that can be one of the big challenge, biggest challenges. We know Weight Watchers came in third, the Zone Plan came in fourth. Sticking to a diet though, so which one, which one actually has the best flexibility for folks? Well, I would say the, by far the most flexible diet is Weight Watchers mm -hmm. because as I'm sure most people know, you get a point, uh, uh, you know, you get some points and you can really spend them anywhere you want, although the diet pushes you to eating really healthfully. Right. A lot of lean protein, vegetables, whole grains, and that sort of but thing. But it does let you make your own choices yes. as opposed to Jenny Craig, which are, which are pre-packaged meals. So Jen, when you're picking a diet plan, all of these factors obviously need right. to come into play. Absolutely. And we should mention, Erica, that this report, which Consumer Reports base their findings on, which is so key because we really haven't done medical comparisons about these diets head to head. The journal that this report appears in the Journal of the American Medical Association, very reputable. The study was funded by Jenny Craig, so we have to have that out there. It's important for people to know that. When you talk about how to pick, though, the best diet plan, a couple of medical caveats apply. Number one, is it safe? A lot of diets can, can affect weight loss in the short term, but they might be dangerous to your health. So in terms of caloric amounts per day, you do not want to go below 1,200 calories a day approximately if you're a woman, below 1,600 calories a day if you're a man. And then when you're picking these diet plans, you want to ask yourself a couple of questions. Who's managing it? Are they nutritionists? Are they dietitians? Are there physicians? Are there social workers involved? And what exactly are they promising you for what amount of money? Because we have to remember, one of the goals with these commercial diets is weight loss. The other one is making money. So you want to do your due diligence. And it's also important as you're looking at this in terms of weight loss, and we've talked about this a little bit, but one of the things you looked at was how long it was sustained, how long people stayed on, on, on the plan. That's a big part of these. Uh, yes. and. Uh, um, when you're looking at a diet, you really need to consider what your personal eating preferences are. I mean, if you're a person who really doesn't like uh, prepackaged foods, um, uh, something like a Jenny Craig, although it has great results, might not be right for you. Uh, if you're a vegetarian, Atkins is not going to be your diet. Probably, probably. not going to work very well. <laughs> Atkins, it wasn't in those those top four there. We heard so much over the last few years about this low-carb craze. Does it not, Jen, does that not work? Well, you know what, the low-carb controversy is is continues to be a controversy and there are some important medical and nutritional dietary facts that you need to know about that. First of all, not every carbohydrate is equal and not every carb is evil. When you talk about these low carb diets, they are very effective in weight loss and they can be safe if you're getting the healthy carbs, the whole grains and the fruits and vegetables, and if you're not substituting high fat in place of those carbs that you're trying to avoid. So when you're talking about eating lean protein and a lot of fruits and vegetables and taking low carb in conjunction with that can be very, very effective. And the thinking there is that high carbohydrate diets really stimulate our insulin production, which stimulates our appetite and gets directly deposited into fat, mm -hmm. whatever we don't use as an immediate source of energy. Gotcha. So there is really some medical truth to that. You mentioned one thing is as you're looking at these plans, who's involved in the shaping of the plan, whether or not there are social workers or support groups. How important is a support group in these plans? 
science. You know, support is a really important thing. I think it's under underappreciated. Jenny Craig uh, includes, it, you, you, have, you pay for this, but you have an either in-person or phone support every single week mm -hmm. to really keep it in your head that you're supposed to be on the diet. Kind of like that Weight Watchers meeting. Weight Watchers yes. has a meeting every week which can be really helpful. Right. Most important thing though too is when you're doing this, Jen, really quickly, the immediate health benefits to weight loss. Uh, They're huge. Even about 5% of weight loss can pay off with a huge health benefit, but again, the key long term, it has to be sustainable, it has to work for you. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, Nancy Metcalf, great to have both of you with us this morning. Thank you.